Welcome to week one of Mindfulness-Based Stress Reduction. I'm Diana Liz, the session facilitator. Congratulations on taking a step towards self-care and greater self-awareness. MBSR, Mindfulness-Based Stress Reduction, consists of formal and informal practices. The formal practice is called a meditation. This can be from one minute to several hours. The longest meditation of this course will be 30 minutes. The traditional positions are sitting, standing, lying down, and walking. It is not required that we sit on the floor in Burmese position. The informal practice occurs when we apply mindfulness or compassion to fully experience something that we do in everyday life. Tonight, we will do the Raisin Meditation, which is actually a mindfulness exercise to introduce the use of the senses, sight, smell, touch, taste, and hearing to anchor us in the present moment. You will need a raisin and a glass of water. What mindfulness is not, Mindfulness is not relaxation. While most of the practices are relaxing, our goal is to be present to what's occurring in our life. It is not a quick fix. It is not a self-help program where you set goals and strive to achieve them. It is not psychotherapy and it is not a religion. This is not a class in Buddhism. Mindfulness has been defi defined as the awareness that arises from paying attention on purpose to the present moment without judgment. This does not mean discernment. It means judgment. To receive the pre-session information and videos and homework, please email me at my HIPAA compliant email Diana at rejuvenatinglifestyle.com. I'll repeat that at the end of the session. If you would like to receive a text reminder at noon on Wednesdays, please text me your first name and a phone number. At the end of the session, after I have turned the re re camera off, I'm available to answer questions. Upon entering the room, we turn off our video cameras and mute ourselves. All sessions are recorded. I will only videotape my portion of the session. The course builds to week four. It is advised, uh, week four is the turning toward meditation. This is the meditation for turning towards pain turning towards difficult emotional circumstances, turning toward whatever it is that you have been avoiding. It is advised that you do sessions one, two, and three in preparation of turning toward meditation. It takes time. Sometimes when we begin our personal work, it may get worse before it gets better. If the negative feelings persist, you may want to seek professional help. This is your course done your way. You're welcome to use the sessions as pure relaxation if that's what you need. Or you may use the sessions to develop your personal awareness and a softer, stronger, and more open way of being. While I strive to honor all the names for God all the paths to God and all religions, please feel free to structure any of the practices to fit your spiritual needs and beliefs. Tonight, we will practice the Raisin Meditation and introduce a short body scan. Sometimes the Raisin Meditation has a second part. In the interest of time this evening, we will not be doing the second part of the Raisin Meditation. <clears throat> All the meditations, uh, long meditations from this course 
are found on Insight Timer and I will be gladly to produce more information at the end of the session. I will now pause for just a moment to allow you to turn inward, to find a comfortable seated position. You may want to remove your shoes, get a blanket, loosen your collar, whatever it is that you need to do to make yourself comfortable. Now turn your attention inward and just notice how you're sitting. How your feet are making contact with the floor. Examine your weight as, as it is in the chair or floor or whatever you're sitting on. Let yourself feel the sensations of contact, of warmth or coolness. How are your hands resting? Are you holding on to a raisin? Are they in your lap, relaxing? And whether you choose to meditate with your eyes open, looking downward in the distance, or with your eyes closed, let the position of the eyeballs come down. Allowing the eyeballs to come down allows them to rest. So rest your eyes in their sockets. And now we'll spend a moment just paying attention to our breath. There's no right place to feel the breath. You might enjoy the sensation of feeling the air come in through your nostrils. It might be more comfortable to feel your lungs gently expanding and contracting. You might find it even more comfortable to place one hand or even two hands below your ribs at your diaphragm and feel the undulation that occurs with each breath, not making anything happen, just witnessing. And you might notice that it's not just a breath in and out. There's a pause in between where the breath turns around on its own.
and there's no need to change your breath in any way because you're breathing just fine. During this meditation and during the mindfulness-based stress reduction course, at any time that you feel nervous or anxious or uncomfortable in any way, stop and return to your breath until you feel ready to continue. When you're ready, letting your eyes open, we'll begin to pay attention to our raisin because that's what our meditation is all about. And picking up one of the raisins or the raisin and just look at it. I want you to pretend that you've never ever seen a raisin before. Maybe you just landed from Mars and you wondered what this object is. You might not even know that it's edible. And so you're looking at this object how the light hits it. And you're seeing that it has crevices and indentations. It looks different whether you're looking at it from one side or from the other end. And it has color. We think of raisins as being black, but the color might actually have some brown, purple, gold in it. And there's a certain way it feels in your fingers as you touch it. You can roll it around in your fingers and it might feel sticky or dry or kind of pliable. You can press it and it squashes. Now bring the raisin closer to your nostrils and see if you can smell anything. Detect a little smell, a sweetness. Now I'm going to try, I'm going to suggest something that sounds a little bit strange. 
bring the raisin to your ear and see if you can hear anything. Squeeze it, roll it around in your fingers, apply a little pressure. You might be able to hear some crickling or popping. Now pause. The tendency is to just pop the raisin in your mouth. Chew it, eat it, swallow it. But we're going to make this a slower process. So just bring the raisin to your mouth, placing it on your lips. bringing it in between your teeth. But don't break the skin just yet. And when you're ready, let the raisin come into your mouth and let it visit different parts of your mouth. Just roll it around. You might want to bring it to the tip of your tongue and feel the sweetness. And then roll it over to your cheek and to your palate. Pretend you're a squirrel and move it over to your cheek. You might bring it over to the other side of your mouth. And if you're pretty disciplined about this, you haven't broken the skin yet. So savor the where you are right now, feeling the sensations. And in a moment, when you are ready, we will place the raisin between your teeth and take one and only one bite. What do you notice? Perhaps you notice an urge to chew and swallow. It's only an urge. You don't have to give in. You don't have to respond to every urge you feel. So just notice the urge if it's there. Now slowly begin to chew the raisin, noticing the buildup of saliva and the urge to swallow. But wait, it's only an urge. Continue to chew whatever 
little bit remains. Noticing how much attention it takes to not only give in to an old habit. Just noticing if the urge to swallow is growing or diminishing. Just keep surfing the urge. And when you're ready, when you decide, go ahead and swallow the raisin. Now let's take a moment to reflect on your experience. Was it difficult for you to slow down and keep your focus on the exercise? How is this different from how you normally eat? Where was your attention when you did the exercise? I will pause for a minute to allow you to reflect on your, on your experience. And now our raisin meditation has come to an end. The next practice is a body scan. Body scans are usually done lying down in a supine position. However, in the interest of time, and because we started in a sitting position, we will do our body scan seated. It's up to you if you would like to close your eyes or merely lower the gaze. But in either case, allow the eyeballs to move downward slightly to allow the eyes to rest in their sockets. Find a comfortable posture. You may want to sit with your palms up in your lap, palms down, the palms resting, one hand resting in the other hand. Whatever feels comfortable to you. The intention of a body scan is to be present to your body without wanting anything at all, not even relaxation. We're not trying to make anything happen. 
we're merely witnessing. Of course, it's nice to relax and it's great if that happens, but we're not trying to make anything happen. We're witnessing. The goal is to check in with each area of your body in a non-judgmental way. We simply feel what is there to feel. And if you do not feel anything, then you merely notice that you don't feel anything. You do not need to stir up sensations by moving the body, though you do have permission to make small movements. Do your best during the body scan to be still, but if you need to move to be more comfortable, please do so. Now let's turn our attention to feeling our body as we sit. Once again, feeling the areas of contact. Where are your feet touching the ground? Feel where your legs, your back, and your arms are in contact with the chair. You may be also noticing your breath as it enters and leaves the body. So bring your attention to your feet. Feeling into both feet right now. Maybe you feel tingling or temperature, warmth or coolness. Now moving the attention to your ankles and lower legs. What is there to feel here, if anything at all? Next, we move our attention to our calves. Perhaps you can sense fabric against your skin. And if you notice that your attention has wandered somewhere else, Gently bring it back without judging this as bad. Just return it to your legs. The mind likes to wander. And if you find it helpful you can imagine that you're breathing into your lower legs.
or you can imagine your attention as a flashlight lighting the different areas. Now letting go of the lower legs and moving your attention to your knees and thighs. What is here to feel? Pressure, temperature, the position of your legs or nothing at all. Numbness counts as a sensation in this practice. Notice if you are thinking about an area or actually feeling it. Noticing that thinking about an area or picturing it in your mind's eye is somewhat different from actually feeling it, actually feeling your knees and thighs. Now letting go of the thing of the thighs and knees and moving your attention to your lower trunk, the pelvis and the belly. Noticing any sensations in this area. Maybe you can feel the breath in your belly or maybe not. Then letting go and feeling into your upper trunk, the stomach, the chest, feeling the sensations of the breath here with each inhalation and each exhalation. feeling the spine against the chair, noticing any sensations that are here or the absence of sensations. Now moving the attention to your hands, feeling your hands. You may notice how you can feel your hands without having to see them. feeling each individual finger.
When you're ready, moving the attention to the wrists and forearms. What is here to feel? Touch, pressure, warmth, coolness, Now moving the attention to your elbows and your upper arms, noticing any sensations here. And if your mind wanders off, just bringing it back to wherever we are, just starting again. From here, moving the attention to your shoulders. The back of your neck. Do you feel tension here? Just witness. Then move on upward to your head. Feeling into your jaw. Your face. What do you what does your face feel like? Can you witness the sensations of your mouth? Your nose. Can you feel your cheeks? Can you feel the sensations of your eyes? What does your forehead feel like? Can you witness the sensations of your entire face? And now turn your attention to your ears. What sensations can you witness in your ears? And now take in the sensations of your entire head And now opening the awareness to include the entire body. Being alive, breathing. If you like, imagine breathing from the top of the crown of your head 
all the way down into your toes and back up again. Noticing all the sensations of the body and allow them to be just as they are in this moment. We'll take a moment to be in this heightened state of awareness, witnessing our body just as it is. And now as our meditation comes to an end, I would like to invite you to join me in prayer. We can begin by addressing our higher power as is appropriate for your spiritual tradition. On this day, I ask to know who I am and what I am. May I be a catalyst for light and love. May I bring inspiration to those whose eyes I meet. May I have the strength to stand tall in the face of conflict and the courage to speak my voice when I am scared. May I embrace and love the totality of myself, my darkness and my light. May I be brave enough to hear my heart. May I be brave enough to soften my heart that I may gracefully choose faith over fear. Now focus into your heart and expand the love that you feel for your family. Surround your family with all the love your heart can hold. Now expand your love to surround your community. that all people may find peace and health and well-being.
and expand your love to encompass the entire world. That all people of all faiths, all spiritual traditions, liberals and conservatives, learn to live in peace and harmony. And now close the prayer according to your spiritual tradition. When you hear the chime, you will awaken as from a restful sleep. Five, four, three, two, one. Allow some movement back into your body, wiggling your toes and your fingers, stretching the body a little bit if it wants to, if that feels good to you. And when you're ready, opening your eyes, and coming back to the here and now. Let's take a moment to reflect on our experience. Thank you for joining me tonight. I'm Diana Liz, founder of Rejuvenating Lifestyle for Mind, Body, Health, and Happiness. This meditation is brought to, to you by Rejuvenating Lifestyle and Unity Spiritual Living Center in Abilene. We wish you a life of flourishing.